This is me. This is Allie. We're engaged. But our pop culture references go over each other's heads. So this is the show where we bridge our cultural gap. This is Allie Hasn't. Well, hello everybody. Hello! Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So it's been a while since we've done a video game episode. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna share some games with you that I used to play quite a bit of as a kid. In fact, I have my original cartridge for the SNES. It's kind of dirty, actually. Um, for Star Fox. It came out in 1993, so it's a year older than you. I also, uh, well, this is, although this is recently purchased by me, but I did play it when I was younger, uh, Star Fox 64, so we're gonna give those a bit of a spin. Do you know anything about Star Fox? Mm, I, I saw a video of you and I think it was Daniel, where you guys were uh, mm. playing Star Fox. And that is literally yeah. my only knowledge of it. It was a one-up you episode of our yes. call, where, yes. Yes, where Daniel and I played st I think through Star Fox 64. Okay, a little bit of knowledge, but apparently not a lot of knowledge. No, no first-hand experience. <laughs> yeah, I got no idea what this is about. Okay, great, yeah. Why have you not played Star Fox? Okay, I actually did not start playing video games until I was 16 years old. For some reason, my dad randomly bought a PS3 when I was 13 years old, so I started playing games, but I didn't take it seriously until I was 16 when my cousins, who were gamers, were actually like, hey, you should try these games out. So I didn't start playing until the PS3. Now I'm playing on the PS4 and PC. So I'm a newer gamer. I like shooters, first, first person, first person yeah. third person. Those are my kind of games like Mass Effect, Detroit Become Human, Bioshock Infinite, Dragon Age. Those are my games. I'm very good at them. So those those are quite a bit after the the, uh, the, Absolutely. the golden years of Star Fox. Yeah. So. Now going into like classic games. I'm so bad at them. <laughs> For more information on that, go see Ali Hasn't Played Super Mario Bros. And I'm sorry. <laughs> or uh, Ali Hasn't Played uh, Legend of Zelda. Oh no, that was even worse! Keeping on the tradition, <laughs> Ali Hasn't Played Star Fox, and now Ali will play Star Fox. Woo! Yes, we are good. Okay. Push up. I should have worn my glasses. Oh yeah, you didn't. That's silly. So, okay. um... I feel uh, like I should train a little, or like try... Should I? Uh, I don't know, do you want to be thrown in the deep end, or do you want to, do you want to give... Fly just through some ring... Some uh, rings. I'll do... How rings. long is it? How long is the training thing? Not long, that was what I was doing for the test run. Okay, because I didn't see any of it. Okay. I'll just do a little bit. The, that puppy dog there with the sunglasses is a general pepper. Okay, so what is my objective? Fly through the, through the rings. Oh, I see. Oh, more, more than that. More than that. There we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> so there's your teammates. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, um, you're gonna testing. try and keep uh, information with them. There's a little, there's a little thing that you're supposed to sit in. What? Oh, boy. Steve, I'm missing. Yeah, you know, the truth be told, like, I've been playing this for years, I've never been able to stay in formation. It's, it's actually really tough to try and actually stay in there. It's, I think, I think it might be impossible. But he doesn't stop badgering you until you're able to do it, so... If you're not, uh -huh. <laughs> That's just, uh, Falco being Falco. Cool! Okay, so I can't blast those, that's awesome. How do I go back? Uh, you just press start to go, to, uh, if you're, if you're done, Okay, start. cool. I'm actually got a glad I kind of did that. Like, okay, so those are okay. Training. So, uh, there's there's basically three uh, difficulty levels. Uh, with that, to so take on different paths through the solar system. Okay, so the middle one is the easiest way. This the way. top one is the second, and then the bottom one is the hardest. Um, and actually, as a kid, I never beat the hardest one. I, I didn't until I got a Super Nintendo later in life, and then played it again. Ah. And let me tell you. I was super stoked about it. <laughs> I was pleased as punch. <laughs> Our last resort is to counterattack Venom. Good luck. The double exclamation marks make it for me. Good luck. Yes. Gotcha. So this at the time, these graphics were mind-boggling. Right? <laughs> Believe it or not. 
this is the best thing the Super Nintendo had ever seen. Because it, it needed like extra chips in the cartridge yeah. to even be able to, to do any level of 3D like this. Now it looks pretty dated, but at the time, like the fact that it was the fact that it was doing polygons at all was was uh, really pushing the hardware. Okay. So. What is my objective here? Uh, you have to shoot the bad guys, and they're going to be shooting at you. Oh my god! But I thought they were my teammates, but sure. Yeah, the, the teammates are the ones who look exactly like you. Um. So, but the guys who are shooting at you, they're not your friends. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna lie, I didn't realize they were not my teammates uh, for okay, a while. Well, I believe, I think you can get somebody. Hey, there you go, you killed your first bad guy! Woohoo! <laughs> Alright. And I got a lot of rings you see like that, that's your health. Oh! Yeah, it'll, it'll help you replenish your shield. This is, like, what, this is probably my favorite like video game song of all the time. Oh, yes! It's the corner area theme. Oh, I have you got, you got You gotta find some uh, some of those rings. So you just passed one, unfortunately. Oh, did I? Yeah, yeah. Anytime you see, Sweet. If, if, you see if you see rings, you just gotta fly through them. That's how it goes. A little bit. Oh, yeah. You, you, gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta save him. You gotta save his... Uh, or he's gonna blow up. He'll, he can actually lose your teammates in this. Oh, that's... Oh, you got him. You saved him. Ah, oh, good. There you go. What? What is... Oh, this is the boss. So... Yeah, he's. Uh, you gotta wait until he's done his dramatic entrance before you can, uh, before you can hurt him. But oh. the key is hit the flashy parts. Yeah. All right, all right. So far so good. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I guess the part that's a little bit more difficult is not knowing exactly what I'm aiming at. Oh, yeah, there you go, you got the bottom one. Oh, oh, okay, now you just unload everything you got on this guy. Ah! <laughs> okay, just keep shooting. I have, like, yeah, I know, I know, but yeah, I believe you can beat him, you can beat him. Just gonna, just, just... Oh, Ooh. no! Oh! Oof. Sorry, dude. <laughs> it's okay. But you're getting the hang of it, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. I mean, I mean, maybe. Oh, oh. Uh, did he? he just came and like, slammed right into you. He didn't care if you were there or not. He's just like. Ooh. There you go. I th yeah, you know what? You're making progress. You're making progress. You do better. Oh, super sensitive. Yeah, that guy, is, he didn't even shoot. He just went, he went straight for the kamikaze. Suicide! Like, you know, he went straight for a kamikaze. <laughs> Even at the back trick, you can shoot him. In fact, that's the best time to unload. It's just, uh... Yikes. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> yeah, he gets nice and close. Nice. Thanks. Oh, that's comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Look at that. You can beat the first level <laughs> on the easiest mode possible. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you did. That's awesome. That's great. <laughs> I, I, I said it patronizingly, but I actually do need it. You, you, you made it. You did great. Okay, so now you're going into the asteroid build. So it's going to send you into a first-person perspective. Now, I never particularly like that, so you can go out of it by pressing select. Gotcha. But it's up to you if you want to do that. That. I don't know, I kind of like this. Okay, yeah, the, the, they do this for this, the space missions. So yeah, okay, if, if you prefer this, go for yeah, it. Yeah, because I have crosshairs now. So with the the asteroids, the brown ones you can oh. you can destroy, the gray ones you can not. Oh, that's why, gotcha. Uh, I wish I knew that sooner. Oh, we should probably launch a bomb to save uh, Peppy. I launched it nowhere. Ah, shit! Okay, yeah. the bubble bomb is a clear call. What is it? Remember, if you can get the rings, you should. Oh, I didn't even see a ring. Okay, well, you, you flew one and flew one anyway, so... Oh, I, th I so, flew through one? Yeah, so that's what that ding sound was. It means you got some more health, so <laughs> it's, a, it's a good thing. Don't worry. Uh, Slippy's in trouble. Been, uh, right, right there. Yeah, you gotta get him. Get him, get him. Where'd he go? Oh, dear. Uh-oh. This, this ain't gonna bode well for Froggy. I'm gonna lose a teammate, Froggy? That's inside. Possibly. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, I think he survived. 
Okay. Dude, you did not deserve to survive that. <laughs> well, he, not so much in this game, but in the future games, he kind of becomes a bit of a joke because he's always in trouble. Oh, he's like the dancer in distress. Yeah, but a frog. <laughs> okay. Okay. Did Faster transition would be nice. Yikes! Yeah, there we go. Oh, almost. I don't, oh, I, don't, I don't really see in this design how it crushes rocks. Yeah! I just shoot his, shoot his nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't move away fast enough. But you know what? You were close. You were real, real close. Hey, ooh, nice, nice. You got three. How do I avoid? Well, you did, so... Somehow. So, like that, I guess. <laughs> like that! Oh yeah, one, one more nip. And then you gotta hit its... The belly button? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. The belly button. I love it. Nice, you're getting pretty smooth with your maneuver. Ooh! <laughs> when you say that... Oh yeah! Red for chips falling apart. <laughs> Very Star Warsy. <laughs> Ooh, that'll get you twin blasters. Which one? That that bad guy there. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh yeah. Twin blasters are the bomb. The bomb. I mean, I guess Nova Bombs are the bomb, technically, uh, but yeah. I, I prefer Twin Blasters. I don't know what it's going to be aiming at right here. Uh, you know what? This is one of those ones. I love this, ep this I, I was supposed to say episode, but this level because there's so much going on. All you need to do is just gotta shoot everything. <laughs> just keep blasting, and, and, it's just, and it's so much fun. It's so much chaos. It's great. <laughs> don't know if I did. Fly towards the doors there. Ah! Uh, oh, no, oh. you flew past it. Okay. Okay. Well, too bad, too bad for that one. That one's getting away. Oh my gosh, there's so much happening. <laughs> oh, you're, you're shooting your friend. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> he, came, he came in to try and save you. And then his <laughs> friend be fire! Again, again, what it, is hitting me? Well, that's one of the downsides about I find the, the cockpit mode. Uh, yeah, just keep fire. Um, is that you can't see as much. Uh, yeah, fly right in there. This is gonna be good. That's a good thing. There you go. So that, believe it or not, that means that you have a shield that protects you. <laughs> <laughs> and just shoot, 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 shoot that cork. Okay, no, well, that's alright. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I could have sworn I was just trash. So how long have you been playing? Like as a kid, right? Uh, this game? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, basically since it was new. So since 1993. Oh. It was one of my favorites growing up. I loved this game. Yeah, yeah just keep blasting away. Ah, yeah, there you go. Cool. There you go. You destroyed one of the one of the battleships. Oh, shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Sorry, I'm backseat uh, piloting. <laughs> no, do it, please. <laughs> okay. Because I'm like, I can't tell between uh, friendlies and hostiles, so I'm like, hey. <laughs> How many lives do I have? Uh, this is your last one. Okay. Oh, oh shoot. Whoa! Oh! Sorry, you got... Uh, <laughs> I gotta do more backseat piloting. Yeah, watch out for <laughs> when there's doors with little arrows. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, how did she die? She had a door. <laughs> she, had, she, had, she had a door. Let's see. Well... <laughs> Do you want to try the, uh... Should we try Star Fox 64? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it! Okay. Cool. <laughs> so am I supposed to have two hands and a tentacle wrapped around here, or how does this work? <laughs> well, <laughs> try this. Yeah, that is, that is the... Oh, there's... <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. It's a big question. Oh yeah, the, the thing at the bottom, plug in thing. Oh, I was talking about this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's also a trigger button. So yeah, most people would hold it like this, okay. and this D-pad got very neglected for most of the games. Yeah, I can um, see that. Because yeah, go, lo and behold, people didn't have three arms. Um, so this little plug in at the back had the first uh, rumble pack <laughs> um, that you would you'd basically you'd plug into the controller, and that would give you the rumble feature that's very standard in most gotcha. controllers now. But, the dual shot. But the Star Fox 64's main con contribution is it was the first game to use this feature. Hmm. So, there you go. There's a little piece of history for you. So technically, this isn't a sequel so much as it's a remake of the first game. Gotcha. Yeah. In this case, the path you take is determined by the choices you make in the level. <laughs> so, we'll just see how which way you fall, right? You're the only hope for our world. I'll do my best. And Russ won't have his oh my gosh, look at this! It's a little silly looking, but... Open the wing. They upgraded so they have voice acting now, so there's that. <laughs> Do you have a favorite? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm, a, okay. I'm a big Fox I fan. You know, I don't know, I, I, I like the team. I think they're a nice, well-rounded team. Oh, so what's cool about this one is that you can actually charge a shot and uh, have a tracking shot. I don't know why, but I'm, what is this? Oh, it's uh, okay. So it's a bumper thingy. Oh, the the, the, the trigger room. button. Yeah. Yeah, basically works almost as if like your your right left your left. Uh, That's kind of nice. Yeah, yeah that was, because I guess they did at some point to into account that people weren't tentacle monsters. <laughs> Everybody, stay alert. There's more tentacle monsters. There's more tentacle monsters. Where, where, where? Oh, oh. No. oh. And somehow I'm doing worse in this. If you go to the checkpoint, you get some health. At this time, it's labeled. <laughs> Yay! I appreciate that. I'll take this. One. Get the one behind me. Careful, I'll be able to lose Falco if you don't save him. What am I trying to save him from? He's getting shot. Could use some help here, Fox. Shut up. <laughs> oh, I can't say anything. What's this? Okay, so you lost Falco. <laughs> the upside is is that in this game, <clears throat> your teammates don't die. They have to run off for repairs. So then they come back in a few levels. Okay, cool. So it is easier to lose them, but it's easier to get them back. Or possible to get them back. But yeah, in the first game they just straight up die. <laughs> you just watch them die in front of you. Oh! <laughs> oh, you got wing damage. You lost a wing. All range mode. Okay, well, you, you, got, a, you got a boss to beat. I, 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 With the missing wing. Yes. So, Oops. that's okay. And there's a, there's a map in that corner, so. Oh! The, what's it? the bee, the bee, the flying. It, it took me forever to realize that that was a B, in the like a, the letter B in the. I just I just didn't know for the longest time. I was like, what is that big yellow block? And that does not look like a B. Okay, well then I'm glad it's not just me. So is there any particular place I should be hitting? Oh, you're hitting his legs, which is good. Also, pay, try and pay attention to what your comrades are saying because. Uh, <laughs> They're giving you tips on like controls and stuff like that. You annoying little fly. You have any new insults? No, he's he's, he's got like six tops. <laughs> Ooh. You annoying. No. No. I gonna miss this. You can do actually a, a somersault kind of thing or a, a flip. But I'll uh, just basically turn you right around. Oh, oh there he is. One more pass should do it for both you and him. <laughs> I'm surprised he's still tossing insults being like grounded like that for so long. He's just like on his face is like, you annoying little flies. There you go, you did it. He's here for a good time, not a long time. We're heading out. All aircraft report. Well, I didn't die the you first did, time. I didn't die, yeah. So far it's all good. There you go, the unstoppable Star Fox team. <laughs> In this case, uh, two of them. <laughs> We're heading into the oh yeah, you have your wings though, so that's good. I'm glad it didn't carry over the damage. That's, that's actually pretty good. That'd be pretty tough to deal with. Oh my gosh! Is like the game Asteroid? You ever play that game? Uh, is that the one where you're in the middle and you just basically circle around and shooting asteroids? Yeah, you can move though. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I have I, played I, it, but very little. It's a little before my time, but I don't know. Yeah, but I played it. Yeah, I guess. I'm 
my gosh! Turmo. How did I... Oh. oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Oh! It is interesting. I would have thought that this one would be easier to pick up, but you seem to be struggling a lot more with it than you... <laughs> is this your first Nintendo 64 game you played? Yes! Really? Ah, oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. Yeah, my first console ever was a PS3. But you played GameCube before. Before you that were was, together. That rarely counted. I played like a total of three times. Oh. Whoa! Can you make it? No! Oh yeah, this is where you have to try and... Oh, you, Peppy was here, he'd be giving you tips on how to get through the asteroid field. But he's got out here. So you gotta do, like, boosts and, and uh, breaks and stuff. Oh, so, where am I? Uh, you're in the corner. You're in the low, far, uh, far right corner. Oh, there I am. Oh, answer that. <laughs> okay. He's gonna drop a box and then destroy it and I'll have something nice for you. See, there's the box right there. I forgot that these controls are inverted! Oh, sweet Zeus. There you go. Hey, you're alive. Oh, now you want to break or something, or, or yeah. How do you break again? Uh. Sure. Yeah, there you go, like that. Oh, he oh, Lord, help me. Hello, Lord, hello. For some reason, this is giving me a lot of, uh. I forgot. What, uh, Stormship Troopers. Oh! Vibes. I don't know why. Hmm. Did, did I die, or did the video game die? Well, it crapped out. <laughs> it's like, you did so bad, we just need to well, stop. Well, you, you couldn't have done that bad, because you hadn't you hadn't even died yet. Although, I think that that was you about to die. Yeah, that was so. me. I, I'm pretty sure it just hit zero. Oh. Well, do you want to, I guess, call it there? I guess so. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the All game right. decided for me. It's like, no. Well, there we go. We tried our hand at Star Fox. <laughs> how do you, how'd you like it? I'm so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll say this. I feel like you, especially the first Star Fox, interesting enough, because I would have thought that would be the harder one to get into. But I don't, Yeah, I, um, I felt like that was a lot easier to maneuver. I felt like I could mm -hmm. steer it better. I don't know what it, what, what it was. The joystick made, I, I felt like there was like a higher sensitivity. Maybe it was because the controls were inverted for Star Fox 64. That's, and that's um, why I specifically chose the controls for the original. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. I don't understand people who invert their wire X axes. Well, the, I, the idea is to just sort of simulate like if you were flying an actual thing, you'd pull back to pull up, push forward to pull up. Well, I'm not a pilot. No, no, and that's why it was nice that Star Fox gave you that option. Uh, maybe there's a way to do it in Star Fox 64 to change the controls around, but we didn't really try, mm -hmm. so uh, we didn't look for it. For the first Star Fox, at least, yeah. you actually did better at that than you did like Mario Bros. or Zelda, <laughs> in, in my humble opinion. You actually made it uh, decently far. I think it might also be my experience of playing games on that console specifically, because I've never held that. So there you go, Ali hasn't played a Nintendo 64, but now she has. Um, well, there you go. There's, there's two first. I specifically played Nintendo, yeah, Nintendo 64 for the first time. Played Star Fox. Yeah. I do like this first one a lot more. Okay, cool. Just because I can control it a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it'll take some warming up to get to Star Fox 64. Three pronged controller. What was happening? It really was a weird design choice. There's an episode of Game Day where I talk with Paul about the controller, and he he defends it 100. percent He thinks that it's great. Screw you, Paul. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think that comes from a very nostalgic place. He just really loves the Nintendo 64. Aww. Um, because practically, I feel like it's it's just a, it's a weird jumble of ideas, that controller, uh, that I feel was perfected in the GameCube controller. I feel like the GameCube controller is much more intuitive and it holds up a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of first steps in, in that controller. Again, the, the rumble pack feature and stuff <laughs> like that. And the fact that it did have a joystick. It was a pioneer, but uh, like, like when, when you're experimenting with anything, there's going to be a few uh, hiccups along the way, so... <laughs> but you had fun? I did! Yeah, I like the Star Fox games. I find that they're great pick up and play. You just got to sit down for maybe like half an hour and just like blast your way through a game. Just like, just fly around and shoot everything that moves. Which is completely the opposite. Like, I'm currently playing like my 22nd playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, last night I played for like four hours and I, I finished the Halamshiral mission along with a whole bunch of side quests from different maps. I only finished like one major mission in four hours. Well, I mean, at the time, keep in mind that Star Fox, 
It was a short playthrough intentionally. And also, like, it was more, it was like a really cool graphics showcase. Like, hey, look, we're really pushing the SNES. It's like, it's, it's in 3D. Because any other games that were kind of in 3D, like there was F-Zero, which is a racing game, and Mario Kart, the original, were on there, but it wasn't true 3D polygons like that. It was sort of like, it was more of an illusion. Even still, I find that, uh, I, I find that the games are just great. Like, you sit down, you play for a bit, you die or you beat it, and then you're like, ah, oh, that was great, that was good fun. This is super simple, uh, super charming, uh, straightforward gameplay. So, uh, you are familiar with the later works of Don Bluth. You know, yes. I know you know Anastasia and uh, Titan AE. Yes. We should go to the beginning of that and watch The Secret of Nim. Yeah, I ne yeah, never watched it, never knew he existed. I don't even know what it's about. Well, we'll discuss that more on the next Ellie Hasn't. Thank you so much for watching, and have yourselves a fantastic whatever day it is you're watching this. <laughs> Yay! Bye! Bye!